Hello there. Wow, this will have the woke lefties gnawing at their knuckles in distress. Universities have just started the process of ditching all their diversity staff. This is the end of the tyrannical woke educational regime. Oh, that we could get such a thing moving in the UK. And you can imagine the soy latte splurging from the woke brigade if the UK followed suit, couldn't you? The 46th Governor of Florida, Republican Ron DeSantis, has really put the cat among the pigeons by passing a new rule that prohibits the state funding of diversity, equity and inclusion programmes within the Florida university sector. You know, that dreaded DEI woke stuff that destroys everything it touches. As a result, the University of Florida has issued an administrative memo saying all its DEI posts will be eliminated, as they put it. I assume they mean the roles and not the staff. Although Ron DeSantis did put out on X that Florida is where DEI goes to die. <laughs> Calm down, dear. It's only the end of DEI. So the Florida University Administrative Memo said, To comply with the Florida Board of Governors regulation at 9.016 on prohibited expenditures, the University of Florida has closed the office of the Chief Diversity Officer, eliminated DEI positions and administrative appointments, and halted DEI-focused contracts with outside vendors. Now, the new DeSantis regulation defines diversity, equity and inclusion as... Any program, campus activity or policy that classifies individuals on the basis of race, colour, sex, national origin, gender identity or sexual orientation and promotes differential or preferential treatment of individuals on the basis of such classification. Basically preventing that totally misnamed positive discrimination thing that wokesters are so keen on practising. So it sounds very fair to me. I mean, we don't want any official or unofficial programme that actually does classify individuals on the basis of race, colour, sex, national origin, gender identity or sexual orientation and then promote differential or preferential treatment of individuals on the basis of such classification. Do we? Unless, of course, your income is reliant on such discrimination, which many DEI post holders are well aware of. That's why DEI has been such a growth industry. The more discord and division you can identify, or in some cases even cause, the more money will get poured into it. Now, the one single aim of every single DEI practitioner should be to make themselves redundant. They should aspire to be so good at their job that they eliminate the need for their own roles to exist because they've got rid of all the division. But human nature will, of course, triumph over that one. Once the money's rolling in, the need to keep the income means succumbing to the requirement to find yet more DEI problems to eliminate. And then that becomes the core task, to find more division. Not eliminating division, but identifying ever more division. And this in turn stokes division, so keeping the job alive. Hence DEI becomes an unstoppable gravy train of division. Somewhat like health and safety in some areas. But it's not just DEI that DeSantis is aiming at. He's replacing it with his own version of equality. A state university or state university direct support organisation may not expend any state or federal funds to promote, support or maintain any programmes or campus activities that a. violate section 1000.05 Florida statutes, 
B. Advocate for diversity, equity and inclusion as defined in this regulation. Or C. Promote or engage in political or social activism as defined in this regulation. And that's what his new rule says. And that section of the Florida statutes that it refers to says Discrimination on the basis of race, colour, national origin, sex, disability, religion or marital status against a student or an employee in the state system of public K-20 education is prohibited. So universities in Florida can no longer do that positive discrimination thing that I talked about and that they so favour, where racism can only flow one way and we all know which way that is. No preferential treatment based on race, colour, national origin, sex, disability, religion or marital status. Doesn't that sound fair to you? It might hopefully even be the death knell for the divisive safe spaces that some uni students seem to want in order for them to feel somehow superior. DeSantis's new regulation also prevents the university from endorsing or promoting a position with regard to affecting or preventing change to a government policy, action or function or any activity intended to achieve a desired result related to social issues that divide on the basis of political, ideological, moral or religious beliefs. Exactly what DEI officers should be aiming for. But they don't. DEI is about always looking for things that identify people as different and then trying to put in place woke rules to overcome a non-existent division. So in fact, manufacturing a division. Then there's all the woke DEI manuals and videos that have to be sold on the back of it. Now this anti-DEI thing is not brand new in the States. No, this has been quietly going on for a couple of months in a few Republican areas. But all sparked by the new laws enacted in Florida last year. The New York Times reports that Florida University is just the latest school in the state to eliminate DEI programs. Both the University of North Florida and Florida International University have already removed or started to phase out such programs. And the report goes on to point to Texas, where a ban on DEI initiatives and offices at publicly funded universities and colleges took effect on January the 1st. In Utah, the governor last month signed a bill pairing back DEI programs at state universities and in state government. And the Alabama legislature is considering similar legislation. Now there's an old adage that what comes to the states always comes to the UK. And from what I've seen reported and on social media, our whole uni setup would benefit from a dose of this DeSantis law. In fact, our whole public sector, private sector and armed forces would benefit greatly from this more common-sense approach to equality. No more divisive talk of white privilege or microaggressions. No more hiring based on how non-white or non-male you are. But I bet the woke DEI academia is preparing to soak us all with a flood of papers and reports on why DEI is so beneficial and we must get even more funding for it. Just in case a UK minister gets some unwoke policy ideas in this area. But sadly, I don't think they need to worry. Sunak's stub of a government hasn't the drive remaining for such a thing. And wokeness will be a growth industry on steroids once Labour is in power. The government and the next will continue to allow minorities to rule the roost. When to get the backing of the people, they need to do what the people want. And getting rid of woke rubbish would be hugely popular. But our political elites are not listening to the people. No, their elite masters lie elsewhere. And that elite has plans for us that do not hinge on true equality and never has.